Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. This month I will be making a taco lasagna. Ooh, sounds exciting. Let's get cooking. Okay, the first part of this recipe, I'm going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And I'm going to get some onions and peppers going here on the stove. You want about two tablespoons of olive oil in a pan like this. You want one diced yellow onion. Turn this on, turn this on. One diced yellow onion. And one diced green pepper. You want to let these cook until they soften a bit, and then you're going to add a pound of ground turkey. So I'm going to let the onions and peppers cook here for a little bit, and then we'll come back and put the turkey and a couple other things in before we go to the next step. Okay, the onions and peppers have been cooking for about five minutes or so. They're looking really good. I'm going to add a pound of ground turkey next. I can, uh, probably should have opened this before I started. Oh, that was easy. Oh, wait, maybe? Now there we go. going to cook this until it's no longer pink, at which point you're going to add in two-third cup of water and a package of taco seasoning. All right, I'm going to let the turkey cook and we'll be back when it's time to add the water and taco seasoning. Okay, the turkey is looking very good right now. It looks nice and cooked. I'm not seeing a whole lot of pink anymore. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add two-thirds cup of water and a package of original taco seasoning. Now the recipe specifically states McCormick brand. Uh, if you find store brand, I'm sure there really isn't much of a difference. This was the only brand that I could find, so that's the brand I'm gonna go with. Okay. So we're gonna add in a two thirds cup of water. And our taco seasoning. Basically what you want to do is bring this to a boil and allow it to boil for about two minutes or so and then you're going to add in some corn, some black beans, and some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Okay, the oven did just finish preheating. We're still a little ways off until we're ready to bake this yet because we have to put it together. Okay, this actually is boiling pretty nicely. So once it boils, you're going to lower the heat, simmer it for about uh, five minutes or so, and then we'll add in those other three ingredients I mentioned a moment ago. The corn, the black beans, and the fire roasted diced tomatoes. So we'll be back when it's time to put those in. As I'm getting the corn ready here, I'm recalling that the recipe called for frozen corn kernels. I'm using canned corn. I don't think there's much of a difference, but you can use frozen corn if you have it. Okay, the meat has been simmering for about two minutes or so, which is about the amount of time that you need. We're going to add in our corn, black beans, and fire roasted diced tomatoes. First, we're going to add in one can of drained and rinsed black beans, and then one cup of whole kernel corn and then an undrained can of fire-roasted diced tomatoes. I'll tell you, adding all this stuff in really makes this nice and colorful. Once you incorporate this, you're gonna let it simmer on medium-low heat, which is what it's at right now, for about 10 minutes until it thickens up, and then you're gonna remove it from the heat, and then you're pretty much gonna build the lasagna. This is looking very nice and incorporated, very nice and mixed evenly together. I'm going to let this simmer uncovered here for about 10 minutes. When we come back, 
I'm going to have a 13 by 9 pan greased with cooking spray and a few other ingredients, some cheese and some refried beans, and we're going to layer in, oh also our tortillas, forgot, I need tortillas as well. We're going to layer all of that in just like a lasagna, but there's no noodles. The noodles are the tortillas in this case. That will all be here. I'm going to try my best to have it on camera for you. I might even move the camera. I don't know. Maybe I'll move the camera. I don't know. But anyway, we will be back in about 10 minutes to layer the lasagna and get it ready to bake. All right, it is now that time to begin layering the lasagna. So, turn that off. Get my cooking spray over here. I'm gonna spray this pan. Like that. Get my tortillas. We're gonna put two tortillas in the bottom. And then we're gonna can of refried beans. We're going to layer some refried beans in here. And you want to make sure you spread it evenly. You're going to make, end up making two layers. Spread it as evenly as you can, coating the entire bottom of the pan and the tortillas. Okay, then you're going to want to scoop in some of the mixture over here. Put about half of this in here now. Alright, and then you want to put some, uh, I got four cheese Mexican cheese blend. We're going to put the equivalent of about a cup and a half. This package is about two cups. Cheese just went flying everywhere. That's pretty good. All right. And then you're going to repeat the process again. You're going to do another layer of tortilla, beans, the mixture from the stove, another layer of cheese, and then top it with two more tortillas. I think out of some fun for you and maybe myself, I'll time lapse this for you. Well, I used a bit more cheese than I thought I would, and I didn't have enough refried beans. I need to get a bigger can if I make this again. This looks very good. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. There is an option you have of once it is done after the 20 to 30 minutes, you can broil it for two to three minutes. The recipe does say to do so. I've never broiled anything before, so I'm just gonna skip that step. Oh, I forgot, this has to be covered. Add some foil here, we're gonna cover this. Now, we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. We'll see you in about half an hour. All right, everyone, it's been about half an hour. It's smelling really good. I'm gonna take this out of the oven, cut into it, and I'll try for you on camera here. So let's turn the oven off. Let's get this out. Here. What's that? The uh, cheese stuck to the foil a little bit. That's all right. Now the idea is that you should be able to get like layers like you would on a normal lasagna. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen on this case. We'll see. Looks like this is going to be more like a soupy texture. Let's see here. First piece is always the hardest. Yeah, this is more of a, a soupy texture than a full-blown lasagna texture. Yeah, there is, there's, there's no, like, structural integrity to this at all. So that's uh, what I have to pass as a piece of taco lasagna. All right, I'm really excited to try this, so let's dig in here. Mmm. That is amazing. Oh, that is so good. Cross this off as a success. Well, thank you all for watching this episode of What's for Dinner. 
as stated in previous episodes, episode whatever have you, I have created a Google form that will allow you to submit recipes for future consideration on the show. There's a link to the form in the description below. You can fill that out if you have a recipe that you would like to share with me, and I'll take a look at them for possible future use on an episode. Again, thank you all for watching, God bless, and I'll see you next month. Oh, this is delicious. I'm so excited. This is so good.